so I quit my job. Hi, I'm Holiday and I quit my job. What can I, what can I say? Okay, I'm not just going to roll into things. So I've been going for a year, a year or two, something like that. But it was mostly me working in the background of trying to get my life situated. So I decided to become a trucker. So while I am watching a video that I created from all my experience from trucking within this year, I'll be talking over them, just explaining like what's going on, what I've been doing. And hope you enjoy the journey that I've been going on. Also, but for a quick thing about like channel updates, I will be starting back YouTube and I will not be full time. I'll be part part time, which means I will be uploading a video when I can. It may be every two weeks. It may be every week. It may be every month, every two months, every couple of months, no matter what my schedule is. Also, I noticed that we have 108 subscribers crazy <laughs> hello how are you please tell me how you guys been doing this past year i know i have uh, abandoned you i'm sorry sorry please oh but please tell me in the comments how everybody's been doing i know the year's been weird for everybody but you know please tell me in the comments i will respond to each and every one of you if you leave something here is my experience with trucking so far in my one year people like my father who have been in trucking for 25 years says it's just very easy out here but uh honestly the first year is hell and my first year has been hell but you know here we go let's see it the video that i created is started from when i went on a ride along with my dad and then i have a picture of when i went to school and then you'll see what i mean as i talk over it. If you see me looking to the side, it's because I'm looking at the video that I created for this moment. Bear with me. And don't worry, we are still doing true crime here. This is still looking into evil. I just been busy. Okay, so this is the truck. One of my dad's trucks. He has two trucks right now or something like that. And this is the interior of the Mack truck that he has. And it's very old school. Very old. He used to haul logs, I believe, up in Massachusetts. Who knows? But this is me just panning around, seeing what my new career would probably possibly be. I do have videos <laughs> of us driving through the streets of Philadelphia. Actually, this is like the expressway, the E-way, the E-way, whatever. But this is a picture of me in school when I was learning. Listen, CDL school, offer or automatic truck. That's all I'm gonna say. The CDL school that I picked, they decided to have mostly manuals and only two automatic trucks and sometimes one automatic truck will be out doing road tests and one will be in the yard and I think that's not fair since I paid the five grand to get my CDL you have to have an automatic for me and they provided one eventually after a little fight yeah if somebody wants to just take the restriction get an automatic license I think let it happen don't try to fight it like I don't I'm sorry personally when I'm driving I don't want to shift gear I don't call me what you want call me a loser but I don't I don't want to shift gears I already got to focus on not hitting somebody I don't want to shift gears that's it. Also, if you hear any jingling in the background, it's because I have a dog now. His name's T.L. I'll pop a picture up of him in the corner or somewhere. He's a cute little dog. Got him from shelter. Come to find out, it's not really hard to get a trucking job. <laughs> they used to say it was hard, but there are people out there that will take you fresh out of school. And it was somebody that took me fresh out of school. I had to be in a truck with a trainer for a month, but I unfortunately had problems with my trainer. So it was actually two months. I had to get a new trainer. That's a story that I guess I can tell maybe at a later date. If you want me to do any more trucking videos when it comes to like training, getting started and everything, I'll tell that story then. But just know that I did not have a good experience in the beginning. But then once you get your truck, I will say the first couple of rides by yourself is actually pretty goddamn scary. But you know, it it is what it is. So one thing that I was scared about is weather and the weather immediately hit for me. Like I was in the summer a little bit, but then once you go to Ohio and it gets a little cold, it starts to snow, it starts to snow. So I have video of me driving in a light dusting with slick roads. Fair warning that also there is a, a crash that I reported also when I was driving Ohio because I'm be honest, listen, a truck is 72 feet front and back, front and back truck and trailer. And then when you're speeding or when you're loaded or when you're lightly loaded 
and the roads are slick, you will slip and you will cause an accident. You will not be able to slam on your brakes or anything. Honestly, it takes a truck to football fields to slow down. Listen, it's a lot. But I thought you guys would like to see the videos that I recorded of me driving and also me in different weather and then also um, a crash that happened. And then I think I ended the video on a good note with um with a night nice sky. I think, I think I was in New York or something. I don't know, I don't know. Who knows? <laughs> Who knows, but here's the part of me driving in Ohio. It wasn't too bad or anything, but here's the crash that I was talking about. This was like a, a four or five truck pileup on like I-80? I don't even remember, but it was a, it was very bad. They had to shut down I-80. But this was about a year ago when I recorded this stuff because I was a shock trucker, okay? So, you know, shocked seeing this. I, you know, hope everybody in the accident were fine and everything, but I was a shock trucker, so, you know. And then this is me driving in New Jersey. I thought this was a beautiful view. So, you know, I took a little video to see, like, you know, what's going on. And this, this, I'm gonna pause it right here because this is crazy. I feel like I'm all over the place, but just follow me, follow me, follow me. <laughs> I put this, 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 particular picture in here because I feel like a lot of people don't respect trucks and understand that like we're just trying to get you the goods that you ordered from us or ordered from around the world and at this point my trucking career I was delivering for Walmart and as you can see it's a Walmart truck in front of me it's a Walmart truck trying to get you know buy and then there's this Subaru that just cuts the truck off because it just doesn't have the time to wait like just have patience understand that we're just trying to get our jobs done just like you're trying to get your job done we're trying to get back to our families like you're trying to get back to your family and i feel like doing this specifically when you see that we're trying to maneuver around in a tight spot like you tell me you can't wait for a couple of minutes in this particular walmart it was it was like pretty tight and it was like three trucks lined up to dock to just deliver like food i think this was actually around like close to thanksgiving to be honest and then this is pennsylvania i'm gonna pause a little bit because remember i said the weather so the fog in pennsylvania is dead. when it's that dense actually at my job they make you do a simulator and they tell you slow down i did a simulator with two guys and the instructor kept telling them to slow down they ended up hitting something i put my hazards on slowed down because <laughs> i knew i was going to be a hazard and as you can see from me recording right here oh don't worry i have a stand that i put my phone in to record while I'm driving so don't worry this fall it's crazy but I will see other truckers before me and I don't know if it's just experience or whatever flying by me the video of me driving in Michigan this is like five yeah like foggy wet view that I was like ah, I never really seen this before so you know why not why not take a picture of it and then this is me in Massachusetts this is me actually in the heaviest snow that I've driven in crazy ride this was a six hour ride from Massachusetts to PA this is New York this is actually upstate New York and I thought this was a nice picture at a truck stop you know like it just looks so nice the moon is a crescent you can see like the stars <laughs> it was a really nice night I believe I was up upstate like Montgomery New York or something like that. I thought it was nice how the trucks were lined up this is what I do now, Monday through Friday, and then I'm off the weekends. But you know, when you're not home for a whole week, you got a lot of stuff to do on the weekends. Or when I started trucking, I was OTR, which is over the road, and I would be out for two weeks and come home for two days. I thought that was crazy. So I immediately tried to get on a different account and I was able to after like three, four months, and then I worked for Walmart third party for a month or two and then went back to OTR and then went back to Walmart. And then eventually an account called me and said that they wanted to put me on their, their team. And I'm very grateful that I'm on this team. Now I work Monday through Friday and I am regional. That means I get to come home every weekend. So I'm happy. But my life has really done a whole 180. I hope and pray that everybody is understanding about what has transpired in my life for me to change. Actually, we can do a story time one day where I tell you why I left my other job because I was an office girl Monday through Friday off the weekends handling crisis in healthcare and wasn't worth it anymore. Okay, I'm sick. It wasn't worth it anymore. Gotta get out. I had to get out. The drama, the racism, the problems, the crises. It drove me a little crazy. I hope you guys will welcome me back with open arms. I welcome all the new subscribers, 108. I think that's crazy. Oh, what am I gonna do? My next video will be a true crime video. And please, again, let me know if you wanna hear any of my uh, trucking stories and my trucking experiences or how I can help 
anybody new in the industry that would be great please stay safe i hope that this video answered some questions for anybody especially about the channel especially about where i've been i know it's been two years i know you guys are like this girl's crazy please let me know how you have been doing in the comments below please subscribe and i will see you guys soon thank you thank you thank you for being here and growing without me i'm trying i promise